side here or maybe here like this right so we have the, the here and then the leg down like that right um, and then um, arms like this so let's see let's see we block in the rib cage right blocking the pelvis here right this leg some comes out like that right here this leg comes like that right this leg may be here right and um, this arm now this is the nipple this has a continuity between uh, the sternum here the thigh and the back of the leg and this arm now is lifted up like this right so this is the head right and um, the, uh, the arm kind of hides the face right this arm goes back and this cut maybe this arm comes up like this so um so you were saying so in this case in here the the work will be very pay attention to the proportion yes but without in a more instinctual way right so we know more or less that that's the midpoint so as i draw as i draw this i don't need to measure it i need to think all right is is, is it about the midpoint i think yeah so let's go with that right um how big is the head well you know about four heads between here and here more or less right and so on so think of all these things but um and the other thing is this don't uh, don't jump drawing too soon immediately as the pose starts right look at your pose you have two minutes two minutes you this is like less than a minute right so you had two minutes right so look at the pose for a few seconds 10 seconds look at that five seconds and try to to decide which lines are best to synthesize to synthesize the pose and maybe you kind of try a couple of couple of them right on, on the page and then see what happened then once you have decided for the best way of, of synthesizing your pose with two or two or three lines then you can start building on top of it all this segment in here but remember that this line here is just a just a, a suggestion you don't have to follow so for example if i have a a figure that is like this and like this like this like we said we did before if this is the rib case right and this is too big I'm not gonna make it that big. I'm gonna say, okay, that's just just a line, right? But the rib cage now is here, and the pelvis is here, right? And this leg is here, and this leg is maybe it's it's a little bit longer here, right? Makes sense. So now I adjust it. I adjust it with um, uh, with um, my understanding of the proportions. Makes sense. So. Uh, what I would do now, um, and, and th this is the other thing, don't use the pencil like this. Use the pencil like this, because uh, it's freer. So this tend to have a very uh, controlled mark, and um, it's very good for smaller, for smaller detail. But if you use the pencil like this, make sure you have a long point, right? Uh, it, makes you use also the shoulder and it is more conducive to wide strokes without uh, it prevents you somehow to get too precise so it's more about the flow and the movement using the pencil like this it kind of helps you helps you with uh, these uh, this dynamic dynamic strokes right you can use even charcoal if you want for this charcoal conti crayon pencil um, it's really doesn't matter no, it doesn't matter um, so um, you see see the pencil that I have I tend to shave off a lot of of uh, wood so that I can I can really have uh, the pencil almost parallel to the paper almost parallel to the paper but then blocking in all these um, wide strokes without without um, um, creating lines that are too sharp, right? Creating lines that are too sharp. Because the sharp line, um, they're good for the detail, but they're not good for, for this kind of dancing with lines, right? So think, um, 
think uh, movement, think dynamism, right? Think dancing people. All right, so um, 